got a thousand different things. Now they're leaking that they may actually be charging Hunter Biden with very minor charges relative to the crimes that he apparently committed. And I look, we don't want bad stuff to happen, but they're leaking that a couple of minor charges, a couple of minor charges relatively compared to the kind of charges that they could be. And that's up to them. But are they actually going to do the right thing and hold the Bidens accountable? Or is this just a charade and an excuse to continue targeting me and our movement of Make America Great Again and America First? I don't know. I think, I think they're doing this for a little reason. I think they want to target us, and they make it look a little bit more fair when they throw out a couple of charges about Hunter. Now, you know what's happening. It's a disgrace what's happening in this country. And it is prosecutorial misconduct. And the people in this country aren't going to take it. Remember this. They've come after me now for six years. A friend of mine who's a very successful guy said, you have to be the most honest guy in the world. My son, who runs the company, Eric Trump, he's probably... He's probably, in the history of the world, he's probably the most subpoenaed person from Congress every week, every day, every month, every t We get a, we have a subpoena, we got to a point, we just stack them up. But there's never been anything like it. It's a disgrace. You know, instead of focusing on our country and focusing on all the problems ahead and focusing on all the potential that we have as a country, all they do is keep investigating and investigating the Russia hoax. And it seems to be always turning around, doesn't it, where they created the Russia hoax, and they were the ones that dealt with Russia in order to create the fake document, the fake dossier, and all of the things that they've done, the, the crimes that they've committed, it's a disgrace. But it's crystal clear that they're coming after me because I fight for you and I fight for America, and they're not used to that because they don't want people fighting for America. And because we are leading big in all the polls and winning all across the country, both against Republicans, which, you know, I'm proud to do, and Democrats, which I'm even more proud to do. But we're winning against everybody. Never before in American history has our country seen such corruption and abuse of power as we are witnessing right now. Right now, the radical left is no longer about socialism. It's not. Not anymore. It's about communism. They've stepped over socialism. They've forgotten about the word socialism. And that's where our country is headed. And I predicted this a long time ago. I saw what was happening. I predicted a lot of things. You ever see the hat? Trump was right about everything.